Welcome back to the Jank Factory, everyone. This is Logrith. Today we're going to be playing Sektai, and the best way to play Sektai is to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And try something from Grandma Stefan. See how that works. Uh, so, <laughs> we'd please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I've got the affiliate link at the top of the description. Um, that'll help the channel out as we get more people ordering off of DCG player through that link. This is Sakti. We've got four Boreal Grazers, two Agonizing Remorse, two Drown on the Lock, three Thought Erasure, three Assassin's Trophies, three Growth Spirals, two Murderous Riders, four Woe Striders, four Uros, two Ashiok's Erasures, two Spark Doubles, four Nightmare Shepherds, two Questing Beasts, one Pulcranos. Three, uh, four fil Filled Mystics, three Tamiyo, three Mesmerizing Benthid, two Ashiok Nightmare Muse, one Casualties of War, two Garrett Curse Huntsman, one Great Hinge, three Erebus's Intervention, three Thassa's Intervention, and a bunch of lands. There's a hundred cards because I love all the cards in this deck. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, so let's hop into Sakti. So, my goal with this deck is to be able to sacrifice a Frilled Mystic to a Woe Strider while I have a Nightmare Shepherd on the field, which then allows me to bring it back in as a 1-1 one, one and counter another spell. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We got all three colors. Oh, Mono White Aggros. Deceitful Temple. We'll have to pitch that to the bottom. We don't have a second green source. So, what will we see? Okay, we're getting pecked for one by the Alcide of Life's Bounty. Well, he just doesn't take no for an answer, does he? He just comes right back, he even has a two of. That's a thing, I suppose. Because he should be right there at the bottom. Heliod? Oh no. Well. Alright, um... Okay. I think... I think the Alcide is going to get out of control. Let's try Uro. Maybe get a land off of it. Ugh, no land. Okay. But we did get Airbus's intervention. Please no sit in the lies. Oh! Oh, it happened. Yep. Oh! Okay. Um, so I can kill the Alcide. Alright. Shadow Spear seems good. Gives a first strike and our trample on life link. Oh my goodness, that's a big boy. A 5 7. And I've got nothing against him either. Um, hmm. Let's sacrifice this goat. Trophy! Haha! -ha! We have an answer. Okay. Thumbs up, Shikaku. 
That's a lot of damage I'm taking this turn. And it gets all the card draw from it too. Straight up terrifying. Don't tell me. You can give protection. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. nonsense are we dealing with in this turn all right so temple of plenty scries one it goes to the bottom okay pass my turn we will tamio we will get back that assassin's trophy <laughs> Please, let me get back that Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> um, I don't know. I probably want a goose. I want more mana. Okay, sure. Shikaku? Okay. Thank you for sac you know, sacrificing that game to me. Um I was probably just gonna go for Thought Erasure. Collect a Thought Erasure and keep up the mana for Assassin's Trophy. Hmm. Alright. Moving on. With Sakai, we're up against Prince Zuko. This is not a good starting hand. This is slightly better. Uh, we'll pitch the Nightmare Shepherd, I think. So we'll start on castle. Stomp me? Yep. You stomped me. You went st stomp. Kirsch stomp. So what do you do now? Play a land and play the giant? Uh huh. I don't like this one bit. Okay, so he gave it the haste. My turn. No land. Well, Assassin's Trophy. I love ramping red green decks, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, 
There goes the Bone Crusher Giant. <sighs> Alright, we'll give it one more turn. Maybe we draw land. I don't know how one land helps us though. I guess because we can drop Woe Strider. have the great hinge out while I have two mana. Ouch. Prince Zuko. Why do you have to hurt me? Who hurt you as a child to make you hurt me? Um, pass. We can at least Erebos' intervention for one and kill the one one and gain a life. So we'll go down to 12. There's a land. Drop a Woe Strider. In turn. Prince Zuko. What are you going to do? Alright. Play in the Love Struck Beast. It comes in as a 6 6. You draw a card. You have so much mana. Sack of the goat. There's another land. Oh, Lord. That was just gross. Gross, I say, Prince Zuko. Gross. You are a gross individual. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way to go, Logrith. Ramp the red green deck into everything they want. Oh. Okay. Yeah. See this kind of opener I can I can I can deal with. There we go. We got the thottery sure ouch. Okay. Blue thought eraser. Let's get rid of the cavalcade if it's in there. Alright. Poly K, let's put you in the graveyard. Yeah. Oh yeah. That happened. Temple of Milady. Assassin's Trophy. It's not a terrible thing. <laughs> I guess. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Alright, yep. Drop that Grim Initiate. Alright. Kill a Scorch Spitter. Get yourself a land excessive. Taking four. Passage, let's get in Island. <sighs> Pass turn. We can counter something unless I pay six. And we're going to. Oh, 
auto pay. <laughs> You're not getting a third scorch spitter out on my watch. Thassa says no. Yep. Taking four. do you have? Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, Hunt, Hunt's Master. Make two, one, two, two, two dudes. Oh god, I'm, I'm boned. Yep. Torbrand makes me sad. There's no survival that way. All right, one and two. Honestly, I think that grill deck wouldn't have been a problem if we could have gotten land, but we didn't get land. Rumham. I like the name. Rumham, if you happen to be a viewer, please let me know. Do you like spiced rum, white rum? I like all rum. Uh, we'll keep. And I'm probably. Oh, really? Mono reds again? Island. Oh, God. What the hell did Robert the Red Jack well? Okay, it was just a land. Oh. And a Steamkin. Pass. Take the damage, Uro. That's what I was waiting on. At least the Robber the Rich gives it a different angle than most of the red decks I run into. Alright. Resolve. Two lands and Uro. We'll kill the robber. Give you a land. I'll take four at the minimum, go five, and then maybe start surviving. Ew. Okay. That's a land. And you're gonna play it. Yep. Ouch. Okay, so I am dead regardless of what happens next turn. Yay, Mono Reds! 
I'm, I'm dead before I can even block and gain life with the stupid uh, murder strider. Okay. One and three. Let's play one more with this deck and see if we can survive to any reasonable turn number. Mietha. Mietha. What if we get some Mietha? Um, keep. Really? Another mono red? Well, let's grab ourselves a forest, everyone. Okay, maybe it's a sacrifice deck. It's a sacrifice deck. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. Pass turn. See what Mietha does now. And wouldn't the smart play be just to sack the Footlight Fiend and ping me for one? Okay, let's drop that. Gain some life. Okay. Pass turn. No attacks. Why would I attack with the Arboreal Grazer? <laughs> yep. Sack cat. Sack the food. Bring back the cat, sack the cat, sack the food, bring back the cat. It's all cyclical. It's a cyclical that takes forever. We'll block one, because why not? Gross spiral. Swift in Judith. Sweet. We don't lose two life plus one. We just lose one now. I'm okay with that because it fills the yard. No attacks. Yep. Cat cycle once more. The butcher. We're blocking the butcher. We are certainly blocking the butcher. Oh my god. This is insane. All the one drops and two drops. And me with no sweepers. Let's drop a questing beast. 
you can't be blocked, so we'll get in there for four. Cat cycle for the millions. It's okay, Mia. I'll be here when you're done. I wish they would ban Calder Familiar just on Arena because of how long this stupid cycle takes to complete. Like in, par in paper, it's not bad, but on Arena, it just seems to take forever. Yep. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to block and kill. The Dread Horde Butcher. And we take the two. And the Butcher is going to kill the Questing Beast. And Judith is going to kill the Arboreal Grazer. Judith is a cunt. Let's at least gain some life back. Assassin's Trophy isn't bad. I can kill Judith. Oh, Mietha. A third witch's oven. And a second caller familiar. Sure. I'm dead. dead dead well everybody one more game I thought we were actually on a decent start that time but it did not work breadsmith okay <laughs> alright drown in the lock assassin's trophy um, we can probably keep at the rats. Tomb tapped pass. Get lazy and quit making interactive stuff. Maybe drown the lock will be decent here. There's already one thing in the yard. If they play one drop, I can counter it or kill it. Depending on what the one drop is. Remorsome. See what we're up against. I love this card. Rust Belt, Fire Wheeler, and Shock. We'll get rid of the Rust Belt. Sure. 
sure. Pass it on. Firewheeler. Intervention says no. You've got red on you. Yes, I want that land very much. Thank you. What you gonna do now, Brad Smith? My turn. Play that Ashiok right away. Burn can kill it. Rampage can kill it. Let's drown it in the log. now. Make it 2-3. Blue and black nightmare. Those are so cool. And it is our opponent's turn. Alright, Brad Smith. Footlight Fiend, sure. So if Breadsmith shocks Ashiok, Ashiok still survives with a minus three. Exiles the Footlight Fiend. And we'll get in for two. And we exile the Hackerbat and the Vampire of the Dire Moon. Alright. Okay. We have had to discard. Get in for five. Roxa and Footlight Fiend. Alright, get in for seven. It's an interesting deck. Take action because why not? Ashiok is strong, goodness. This is the first time I've gotten to really keep Ashiok out for any length of time. 
Ashiok is very strong. Whew. I think we'll have to make ourselves a Super Friends deck. Ooh, ooh Robber the Rich. Nice. Well, this has been Logrith, and we have been playing Sakti. Four Arboreal Grazers, two Agonizing Remorse, two Drown in the Lock, three Thought Erasure, three Assassin's Trophy, three Growth Spiral, two Murderous Rider, four Woe Strider, four Uro, two Ashiok's Erasure, two Spark Double, four Nightmare Shepherd, two Questing Beast, one Podokronos, four Frilled Mystics, three Tamios, three Mesmerizing Benthids, two Ashioks, one Casualties of War, two Garricks, one Great Hinge, three Erebus's Intervention, and three Thassa's Intervention, plus a bunch of things. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys like to see next. If you're ordering anything, please order it off of my affiliate link in the top of my description. That will take you to TCG Player, where you get the best prices on everything anyway. So I look forward to um, improving the channel with your all's help. This has been Logrith signing off. Happy magicking.